angry commenter who thinks that I act like a white person. I'm here because you need a hug. <laughs> Hi Unicorns! Welcome to the Tassel Fairy channel. My name is Amina and I'm the Tassel Fairy. First, I want to let you know that I definitely read all of the comments and I really appreciate all of you so much. Um, all of your love and the time that you take to like say hi or to give your thoughts or to ask questions. Um, I really just appreciate you. Uh, with all of the positivity though, um, there are some haters out there. Like I do get negative comments and normally I don't really address like haters or like negative comments because like that's not really why I'm here. Like I'm really here just to spread positivity and love and color and glitter and fairy dust. But whenever something like this comes up, I think it's really important to address because I know if people are coming at me with this kind of nonsense, then there are a lot of people out there who must feel attacked or who must have to deal with the same kind of negativity. So let's address this topic. People are saying things in my comments, particularly in my hair videos, um, about how I'm not black enough. What does that even mean? <laughs> oh my God, a black girl has rainbow hair. So I got some comment that was like, you're an African queen. You don't have to act white. You don't have to do all this extra stuff. And I'm like, what? I have kind of dealt with these comments pretty much my entire life. Like some black people say I'm not black enough or I'm like weird or I act white or stuff like that. I really am out there rooting for all of us, you know? So when black women in particular say negative things about me, it's very frustrating for me and it really hurts my feelings, you know? Cause I'm a human in here. Like I know I look like a cartoon. <laughs> But I'm actually a human. I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only weird black girl. Believe it or not, there are so many women of color and black women in particular who are into this kind of thing. They like feeling magical. They like expressing themselves and they like for their clothes and hair to reflect how joyful and happy they are on the inside. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's no wrong way to do it, you know? How is it up to anyone but me how I'm supposed to act? Like, what does black enough mean? What do you want me to do in order to prove that I'm black enough? Like, that's nonsense. I love me. I like me. So it's okay if you don't like me. It's not your job to approve of me. It's my job to approve of me. And that's what I want you to remember if you're out there and anyone like is hating on you or those turkeys are out there trying to tell you how to live your life, just be like, dude, it's all right. I love myself enough for the both of us. Like, I don't need you to like me. It's okay. I don't need you to think what I'm doing is cool because I think what I'm doing is cool. High five. Oh, oh, oh. Don't ever let anyone tell you what you should be like or that you're not good enough or that you're not black enough or that you're not feminine enough. Like never let anyone dictate what you should be or how you should act, ever, <laughs> ever. Because you will have a very miserable life if you spend your life trying to live up to other people's standards. You set the standard, decide who you wanna be. I don't care what color you are. I don't care where you're from. It's about what you want. It's about what makes you happy. It's about what makes you feel the most like yourself. And so for all the people out there who think that they're like helping the sister out <laughs> or like giving me advice or like reading me or whatever, you're not. You just showcasing how insecure you are in your own identity. I'm really secure in who I am. And it took a really long time for me to get to this place. I'm not gonna change that because it makes you feel uncomfortable. Why aren't you just happy for me that I like have dope hair and that I have love? I think people are too busy focusing on other people and they need to figure out how to love themselves more. So that's why I'm here. 
Hey, angry commenter who thinks that I act like a white person. I'm here because you need a hug. <laughs> you need someone in your life to tell you that it's okay to be who you are. You know, like don't stress it. You don't gotta judge other people because they make you feel uncomfortable. Or maybe because they challenge your ideas of like what black people should be or what a woman should be. It's okay. So I just wanted to bring this up because I really want all my unicorns out there, no matter what culture you are, no matter what race you are, no matter what language you speak, no matter what sex you are, no matter who you love, no matter what it is, I want you to feel like this is a safe place for you and like you can be yourself here and you can just find things that make you feel happy because that's what this is about. And I wanted to just talk about this because like, I'm kind of over it. <laughs> so if you're over this too, and you're tired of people telling you about like what they think you should be like based off of what you look like or based off of where you come from, then I don't know, join with me and just be even more of yourself. Like put it in their face. Be like, yes, I am magical and crazy and different and awesome and weird and there's nothing you can do about it. Alright Unicorns, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because there's lots of fun stuff coming for you. We're going to Disneyland. I have a bunch of really great lookbooks and fashion house plans. <laughs> and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're into it. I know it's a little different, so let me know what you think. Should I do more videos like this? Are there things you want to talk about? Are there questions that you want answered? Let me know. So, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna call them turkeys. They're not trolls. If you're one of the turkeys who are like, oh my God, she's black and her hair looks like that, then <laughs> turn it into a turkey. Like, <laughs> Unicorn's good. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs>